right. Hello, everybody. I feel, I feel like I'm short on the screen. I'm in a different chair than I used to be in. I, I, it's been a while since I've been here. Welcome. We'll start with the. We'll start with this, and then I'll, I will rant a little bit. Uh, welcome to SketchUp Live. I am Aaron, and with me today is my good buddy Matt Robinson. Hey, everybody. Good to see you on SketchUp Live Day. I'm psyched. My chair is higher than ever. Uh, I just want to feel like I'm superior and looking over you. Um, but no, hey, you're you're doing good there. You got your, you know, as long as you have a chair. That's what's important. There, I just made myself a little bit taller. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the angles, you know. Yeah, that's right. It's camera yeah. magic. Tom Cruise is like four foot two, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, there you go, a little BTS. That's right. Make yourself look good. <laughs> Hey, everybody, welcome. It's been a while since I've got to be on here and uh, super excited to be back to be streaming uh, last couple of weeks. Eric was on here, created the exterior shell of a coffee shop. Uh, then Tyson came on, did what he does, making some awesome furniture models. He mm -hmm. does a lot, but I mean, that's that's definitely a spot where he excels, I guess I would say. Speaking of chairs, yeah. Yeah. I'll make you a great one. Yeah, that's right. I wish I could just grab his chair from the model and just plop it down here, but... No, I gotta replace my used office chair with another used office chair. That's what I got going on. Yeah, uh, lateral move, but you know. That's right. <laughs> uh, this one's not falling apart, so that's the step in a direction. So today we are gonna do some more modeling on the coffee shop. Uh, that we're gonna take the shell that that Eric started, and we're gonna go inside and create basically a, a coffee bar. Like where does where you would order from? Where you know. Coffee would be delivered, that kind of thing. So it would announce your name. That's right. And spell it wrong on your cup, no matter how normal a name is. Dan, <laughs> people does spell it start with a G? Yeah. Do people spell your name E-R-I-N? Or A-R-O-N, A-R-I-N. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> amazing. Who are these people? <laughs> I'm, it, I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just saying I live in Longmont, which is pretty close to the middle of the country you can get. And uh, I mean, some of these kids have probably lived here their whole lives, but but I don't know. I didn't think it was that weird of a name. Apparently it is. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist, but I do believe that Starbucks like teaches his employees to intentionally spell people's names wrong so that they take a picture of the cup and then post it like, look what the, and then the Starbucks logo, you get That's, that in front of people. I would not be the slightest bit surprised if that was the case. I, I believe it. I believe it. I don't know if that counts as conspiracy, does it? That just sounds like marketing. <laughs> a lot of conspiracies are marketing. Technically, That's true. So. That is probably true. Yeah. You know how much, uh, how many miles the Berenstain Bears have gotten out of their Mandela <laughs> conspiracy? Uh, it's oh. Mr. Berenstain himself just going back and being like, don't you guys remember this differently? Money everywhere. Yeah. Just big, big Berenstain cash flowing. All over the treehouse. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. I could tell this is gonna be fun. I've, uh, <laughs> I was trying to remember last time. I mean, what was the last time you and I were on together, Matt? That's got to be better part of a year. Mm, that's a yeah, that's a throwback. I do not remember. I also don't remember what I had for lunch. So it's not saying it could be, you know, last week, but I don't think it was people in the chat. Maybe some super fans could remember when, yeah. when last time we teamed up was yeah. but uh, it's gonna be fun, though. Be good. Yeah, it's good to mix it up, you know. All right, we I think we we introed a good amount. Let's uh let's do some stuff. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Make things four minutes happen. to talk. Get to the geometry. Let's go. Top job. Model monkey. <laughs> Model. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, let's let's do this. So, um, like I said, I do want to uh, take a look at what Eric started us with. So I do have both Eric and Tyson's models. So here's the the chairs that, that Tyson modeled, which I was blown away, honestly. Like this was two hours of modeling. I probably could have spent that time on one of these chairs. Um, I think he did an awesome job. Uh, Agreed. Super cool. But yeah, this will be this will be fun to plop these in to the model. Uh, and then the other one, of course, I have, like I said, is the outer shell of the coffee shop itself. 
So this is, I'm gonna call this an unassuming building at this point, right? It's white brick, we got some full height windows, some doors. I'm assuming this, this side right here with the two doors is the entry. Maybe this is the, the corner of a street right here. So you can walk in either one, which means as we come in here, oh, I didn't go in enough. This is where we'll stick the coffee bar right here. So the main thing I wanna, I mean, well, I'll model as much as I can get done in the time we got in the two hours. Um, but what I really wanna get set up is that the, the front bar, the customer facing portion of the bar, I wanna make sure we design it with like a flow in mind. How do people work through this space? Um, that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, where's where are we gonna put like the, the pastry cabinet and the cash or the cash register and where's the pickup? I wanna do all that kind of stuff and, and think about the flow and design it out and make it look cool too. You know, we gotta we gotta be a little superficial and make this look awesome, right? There's nothing wrong it's with all that. Looks. Yeah. Um, but given time too, we'll do some back of bar stuff, uh, get some sinks, some tables, storage, that kind of stuff back here too. Uh, maybe maybe like throw a menu up here in the middle and then a spot for a fancy espresso machine here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, you know, I, I don't like to. I like to have too much of a plan because then, you know, I feel constrained and limited as a creative. Well, the last two minutes of you talking through the plan, I'm like, this is way more planning than I've ever heard you talk about before. Usually you're like, you're right. Anybody got anything that you want me to model? <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, no, I, I get that's, that's cool. Especially the idea of like kind of space planning and like, you know, mm -hmm. um, people movement and stuff like that. That's not something that we normally, uh, address on this show so i'm like psyched about it yeah it'll be fun and i, I don't want to I, I do want to acknowledge and give a nod to we did have lots of people chime in and say you know good morning hey how's it going we got people all over the world uh chiming in saying hi and it is awesome to see you guys again like i said i feel like it's been forever since i've been here so thank you for coming thank you for hanging out with us and and let's let's have some fun um we did have a question that, that caught my eye. Is this going to be recorded and shared? It's going to live in perpetuity on whatever platform you're watching it. So unless something goes really bad, like there's there's always a possible the possibility I'll screw it up so bad that we're like, okay, we got to get rid of that. It could happen. Or or if you're watching on Twitter, then or X, right? There's no guarantee that anything's going to be in perpetuity on there because. <laughs> uh, of who's in charge of the platform, but not, you know. not our, we're, yeah, can't, oh, I don't, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But okay. the easiest place to get everything is on YouTube and our SketchUp Live playlist. That's where all of our SketchUp Live streams are stored. But uh, I saw Alan, that comment came in on LinkedIn. The recording will be on LinkedIn as well afterwards. So um, yeah, if you can't, uh, can't catch the end, then uh, hey, catch it another time. Yeah, and YouTube's also a great place for lots of other content. We put a ton of stuff up there, so come and get it. Very um, true. Very true. And we did. I we had this already. <laughs> Somebody's asking about this this thing to the left of my laptop. This is a three D mouse. I'm just gonna throw this out here now. We'll probably do it again later. Uh, it allows the model to move in three D space without me having to worry about my other mouse over here. Um, and it's just a nice way to move around. That way I don't have to, I can use this mouse to go click on something else or that sort of thing. It's not a requirement for SketchUp. It's a nice way to uh, visually explore space. I like, I like these nice smooth movements I can do with it. Um, it's also, like I said, it frees this up so I can actually do things like click and select things as I roll around the building like this because moving is happening separate, separately from controlling my cursor. So. Um, yeah, it's a nice option to have. So if you're, if you are an de experienced designer looking for the thing to take you a little bit further, I would recommend checking out 3D mouse. But yeah, like I said, not a requirement. All right, let's design. So what I want to do is I want to get inside and see the space that I have to work with, but I don't necessarily want to do all the work inside of here. Like it would be I mean, people do this, so I'm not, I'm not knocking anybody, but people go in and put in a section cut or navigate inside, drop a camera right here and try to model in this space like this. I wholeheartedly suggest you don't do that. It's rough. It's a difficult way to do it. 
Um, this is not a heavy model, but you know, modeling inside of all the context can be a lot. You know, if you have outside where there's like pine trees with needles on it and stuff, then your model has to render that as you, yeah. Anyhow, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna basically create a footprint that I'm allowed to play inside of, and I'm gonna take that out to a separate model, create my bar, and then I can pull it back in. So to do that, I'm just going to start by hiding the roof. Uh, Eric did a great job of making that a separate piece. So what I wanna do is I kinda of wanna just grab this space right here and then know that I can model that. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see, what is, how long is this section right here? This is 12 feet, so I'm gonna say the coffee bar is gonna come up like four foot. I'll try to try to reserve, even that look, that looks kinda of huge. So let's, let's go a little bit smaller. Let's say that this coffee bar only comes up two foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a space on the ground that represents, you know, my playground, where I can put stuff. Yeah, you want to draw within the lines here. You don't want to be. That's right. That's right. Collaborative modeling effort and you don't want to step on anybody else's toes. Exactly. Yeah. And this, that's, this very much speaks to that collaborative piece. So there, so that right there, that floor is where I can model. I'm going to draw one more line. That's going to be the roof. That's the height I have. So I'm gonna triple click all of that. So that gives me just, I just popped over here. So that's all, that's what I want. That chunk right there is where I'm gonna do my work. Um, so I'm gonna keep it right here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make it a component and I'm gonna call this the coffee bar. Coffee counter, coffee counter. How high is it going to be? That'll car. determine what way for whether it's a car. Uh, a is car. that is that what does? <laughs> Probably not going to be a car. <laughs> I've done cars before, and I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Been there. Coffee Drew. Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and create that. So what that does, I'm just make a copy of that right here. So what that does is that creates a brand new component. So this is a component. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to right click. I'm going to say save as, and I'm just going to drop this on my desktop, coffee counter bar, and hit save. Now, got ahead of everybody in the chat saying you should have saved. You already saved as. You went one step beyond. That's true. Uh, I'll go ahead and say, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a save as actually, because I'm going to say, I'm going to add AD to this because this is actually Eric's model. Uh, that I'm working in and I made a change. So the only change I really want to give back to Eric is the inference of this component. So when I give this to Eric, everything should be exactly the same, except it will have this extra component in here. And if I import my component after I fully modeled it, it should automatically show up in place and just, just perfection, right? That's where we're shooting. Ta -da. I like ta-da. Um, <laughs> so I have an untitled here I don't need. I can close that. Um, I don't need my chairs right now. I got the model, but I don't need them. So I'm going to go now, I'm going to say open and I'm going to go grab that coffee counter bar because I couldn't decide which it was. And here we go. All right. So we're going with this. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but we have a look and feel each of us, uh, Eric Tyson, myself, Eric tends to model on this white where Tyson models on kind of that dark blue gray. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found that I generally tend to model, where's my default styles? In uh, kind of one of these default grays like this. You don't like the green floor plane uh, style? You there know, you the reason I don't is because this was the default in like, six or seven i it, it was I, yeah i just never yeah this this is more my thing i like this i like this better yeah it's clean that's right <laughs> all right so one of the things you'll notice is when you open a component uh the the wrapper on the outside is not there anymore see so i come in here i can i can click immediately into context or into into these pieces because i don't have to enter context because when you open the component itself you're going into the skp file components are just sketchup files there's nothing, there's no magic code about them. 
Well, there is, there's a little bit of code that says what to do with them and how to handle them. But really they're just geometry that is saved when it's used in its own container. But really it's just a SketchUp file. So by opening a component, I'm already in that SketchUp file. All right, so let's figure out what to do here. Um, we have, 10 foot and 13 sixteenths for a ceiling height. <laughs> Questionable. Okay. I'm just going to go with the number I got. Eric, are um, you in the chat? You got to defend yourself over here. Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting choice that I won't. Uh, right. <laughs> this is the part of collaboration people don't normally talk about is just talking crap on each other. <laughs> What is he thinking? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> to be honest, if I was doing this and I got past this model, that would probably be a thing that I, I'm going to note that and double check that before I send my my design back. Let's just make sure that that was the, the number that's supposed to be there. Um, we're going to go with it. We'll clean it up if we have to. Um, yeah, Transom is saying 3 16 is close to 3 quarters, but it's not 3 quarters. <laughs> Working in precision over here. That's right. <laughs> okay. So let's dive in here. So what I do want to do, um, all right, so I'm going to take the front of this bar and just temporarily mock it up like this. So I want to put, you know, kind of the face of the coffee. I want to like lock it off too much, but I want to kind of have like, something showing up something visual that when somebody walks in they know where i'm at like this is this is this coffee place um so i'm going to start with a wall facing outwards i'm going to offset this like what we'll do two foot to start with and how high how high is a counter you would order something at what would like three foot that sound chat yeah, some of you guys are actual like uh, architects and that kind of stuff that work in this stuff every day. How tall do you go with something like a cough, like a bar that you would order at? I think we're on a delay, so it'll yeah. be a little bit before people uh... throw that question out there and then sit and wait. <laughs> well, I can use this in between time to talk about 3D Basecamp. If you're looking to learn SketchUp, if you already are passionate about SketchUp, if you want to just uh, <clears throat> dip your toe into 3D or learning or all kinds of uh, information and fun stuff about architecture, construction, interior design, um, landscape design, whatever you want it to be. We have it going on at 3D Basecamp, baby, which is going to be um, this November in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, that Las Vegas. Um, so, yeah, go. It's at the uh, Venetian uh, Resort which I was thinking about this today is right next to the sphere. If you see anything about the sphere, mm. that is right next door to that. So, you, you know, if you only want to go to 3d base camp just to see the sphere, Hey, it's right there. It's connected. Yeah. But anyways, 3d base camp is the best place to uh, learn SketchUp to meet other people who are doing really cool stuff uh, with the software and expand your horizons to other types of uh, solutions and cool uh, things that people are doing in all kinds of different spaces. It's a 3D base camp. Aaron's yeah. gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. Um, so if you wanna hang out with us in real life, that's the place to do it. I, I, I don't wanna oversell, but I don't think best week of the year is too much to put on it. I mean, yeah. Come yeah. check it out, absolutely. And uh, if you buy, I don't know how much longer it's going on, but it's something like $900 off a ticket or something right now, $800, $900 off. Yeah, yeah. If you get the, uh, the the super early bird, the you know, you're looking for the worm, and yeah, it's going to go up. The price is going to go up at the end of February. You have do you have an extra day because it's a leap year, so you have that extra <gasps> to the end of day on February 29th. Yeah. Um, but don't wait till then. No. Don't wait till leap day. Yeah. Uh, buy your tickets now and save a lot of money, uh, because heck, you know you're going. Yeah. It's great. If I could go to one event, one conference all year, it would 100% be 3D base camps, the best 3D conference in the entire world. I would agree with that. I, I wanna, we're biased, of course, but it doesn't make it not true. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, come check it out, come hang out with us, absolutely. If you're here to learn something right now, you, it's worth checking 3D Basecamp also. Uh, like I said, the big thing right here is you've got a handful of weeks left to get a significantly decreased price on your ticket. So do check that out ASAP. Yes, um, 100%. And yeah. uh, in the chat, it looks like, going back to the model, 42 inches is what people say for counter height. Yeah. Um, and then to be ADA compliant is 36 inches. I don't know if you want to have kind of a separate section or, I mean, it's your, your barista. You're the barista here. Do what today, I want. So you, can, you can do whatever you want. But, All right. Um, so I'm going to go with 42. I like, actually, you know what? No, here, we're going to make ours. We're going to get, we're going to get cool. Let's watch this. Just pay attention. Um, I don't know what that meant. Uh, <laughs> over here, I want to have a pass through, a spot where people can come in and out, of course. So I'm going to take this back. Let's do it like this. Um, so if I'm gonna say right here, we'll drop this down. Maybe we'll put a little, little swinging door. I always had thought those were cool when I was kids. You know, little things that go back and forth. Oh yeah, that, or the one that goes up. You know, like a bar. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like lift it over. Yeah, those are cool. I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm gonna have a section of the bar over here. Um, let's say like 30 inches. See that, Eric? So I didn't just put random 16s in there. I'm going to raise that up. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that was probably rude. Uh, we'll go up a little bit higher like, like that. So this will be, this section will be where, you know, you order maybe this. This will go... Yeah, we'll say four foot. This section right here, we'll put like a, a pastry cabinet in here. Ooh. This will be where we'll put the register right here and, and uh, you know, the dry goods, breath mints, whatever will be ordered here. And then uh, this will be like the delivery counter that stick out here. Um, I'm going to take this and drop it down one inch. Because, actually, I'm gonna drop this down one inch too. I want to have a, a counter that kind of sticks out a little bit. Not a lot, but just, just enough that it comes forward, uh, has a little bit of a lip here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take this chunk right here that I have. So first, I should probably grab this, make this a group, because I want to put some tile or something on there. I'm gonna take this and make it a separate group. I'm not really worried about components, I don't have repetitive use, I'm not really worried about naming anything. Um, so I think that's kind of all I want to do right there. All right. I'm going to come here and I want to have this lap over like, I'll start with an inch. Um, a lot of times if I'm just kind of designing something to see how it's going to lay out, I'll throw in geometry that's like, you know, even to like an inch or something like that close to that, that size, be, just to give me something to react to. Whoops, did I go into context? Sure did. Undo, 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 undo. Okay, let's try that again. I oh, probably, probably should save too, huh, at this point. I really uh, probably do need to do that. All right, let's take that up one, two inches. Not always, one inch. always save. That's right. Save. I already say I don't have to save as because I've already, I've already did it once. All right, well, that's okay. Uh, maybe I will come over here. Maybe like drop this down another inch. So a little bit of a reveal there. That yeah, looks okay. I like that. Um, yeah, that's cool. I'll do something similar right here. Bring that up one. Go forward. One here. One here. And then we'll drop this down one. There we go. We have Something a couple of like questions that. for you in the chat. I'm liking to look at this, by the way. Um, one is, uh, why are you modeling with shadows on? Isn't it making your model unnecessarily heavy or slow? Absolutely. And the reason it's on is because I didn't realize it was on. 
when you <laughs> because I saved out of Eric's final model, I I'm imagining Eric kind of turned on the shadows to get his thumbnail. We do that a lot when we create our actual uh, thumbnail. We turn shadows on because it just gives a little more depth and looks nice. Uh, so I think he turned it on. This is a super light model right now, so it's not too big of an issue, but you're 100% right. What we should do, I should come in here and just toggle that off there. That's going to be a better way for sure to, to navigate in here. Yeah, good call, Alan. Good call, good call. And then the other question was about uh, your experience as a barista. What's your coffee making experience? Do you ever work in a coffee shop or you just make coffee for yourself or what's your... Yeah, I, I got to say, I, I have not professionally made coffee. I have professionally scooped ice cream and made tacos. Um, and then, you know, building design stuff, whatever. Uh, but as far as service industry, that's it. That's all I got. So hmm. um, I mean, you could do like an espresso float with your ice cream scooping abilities. <laughs> yeah, we did have espresso flavored ice cream. So that that probably counts. Counts. Yeah, he but, served it right up in a cone. I will say one of the things that that is true is uh, back when we had our previous uh, building for SketchUp, we used to be have a, a space in Boulder, and the employees were when I've uh, here's me coming in as a new hire. Employees were super stoked about this professional grade espresso machine they had in the kitchen. You remember it, Matt? It yeah, was, it had like three different spouts. It was like you. <laughs> it looked like it was belonged behind a counter, like this uh, counter. Yeah, we could have run a small espresso shop out of our kitchenette there, um, but that was basically my orientation. Was uh, Chris Dizon, who was my manager when I started, took me in, showed me how to pack, how to grind the coffee, pack it properly, um, <laughs> make an espresso, and then uh, yeah, they kind of dropped me at my desk after that. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to meet anybody or anything. As long as you know how to make a, you know, flat white and then you're. That was set. the important part. Yeah. I mean, I, I did, honestly, I came in, I did know quite a, a couple of people at SketchUp when I came in. I knew most of the sales staff and, and, uh, and some of the, some of the other people, but it was kind of funny. That was the, that was the big thing that happened for me on my first day was I learned how to use the espresso machine. So, yeah. So you transfer all that experience into this counter here today. That's right. Totally unrelated <laughs> in every way. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to mock up just super quick right here. This is where we're going to have uh, like a school up there. Okay, two inches. Bring that up another. Up another two foot. Um, so this is going to be like a pastry bar. We'll put put some stuff in there. Uh, or pastry container. Whoops! Dang it! Oh man, you're supposed to be watching me. Whose turn was it? All right, let's do that. Make that a group. And then grab this. Make that a group. And grab this. Make that a group. All right. So that is the basic layout of the front of the bar. But I wanna be very intentional about the design here. I wanna do something that's kinda of cool to take a, to, to look at. Um, so I was thinking about, you know, with, with coffee, trying to go with, you know, the rich coffee flavors, browns and tans and stuff like that. And I wanted, so I wanted to kinda of like come up with a wood feature or something on here that I think would look nice. So I was kind of thinking what might be cool is doing like vertical wood slats across the face of this. So okay. mm -hmm. I was just saying, okay, that sounds good. Oh, all right. uh, I, it's interesting because normally I feel like you don't really pay attention to finishes too much in your, in a traditional SketchUp Live model, you're just kind of going for it and leaving it, you know, white. I just, just I'm, saying that's what it is. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, new year you know my, yeah new materials new materials i like it yeah yeah so we'll <laughs> use some stock materials for that those new materials um because i want to keep everything behind this two foot line i'm going to come in here i'm going to push this back uh just half an inch uh and then i'm going to color the face uh, I'm going to use a material. I'm going to use our stock material initially, but we're going to we're going to manipulate it 
quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to use this wood. It's not beautiful. I don't, it's not my favorite, but I'm going to use that for right now. And then out here, let's see what like, let's see what like, uh, one inch, Ooh, that looks too thin, but we'll see. I'm going to create a piece. I'll pull that out half an inch. Grab that. I'm gonna make it a group. That's way too thin. I don't. I don't. That's not gonna be. I don't think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna move that over like two inches. I'm gonna say like 30x. That's too dense. I don't like that. I'm gonna undo that. Come in here. This is one. I mean, when it comes to uh, things I like to do a SketchUp. I think this is one of my favorite things is to do like conceptual kind of work to go in and, uh, move things around in space. So as, as a designer to go in and say, what does it look like this? How's it look like with this? How's it look, you know, like move stuff around. I think that is kind of one of my favorite things to do, uh, when it comes to using SketchUp because it's so easy to, to do, to move that stuff around. Um, I do want to make this a component right now. I call it a slat. Come in here and I'm going to triple click. Choose this and die right here. But I don't want to keep that. I don't want to put that same wood on top of wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to Um, we had one <clears throat> one question on LinkedIn. I can't chat directly to LinkedIn, so I'll just say this out loud. It's about the 3D mouse in Aaron's left hand. That's a, so it's a 3D mouse. It's for navigating um, around, which kind of frees up your other hand to do regular SketchUp um, inputs. It's not necessary for using SketchUp, but helps with navigation and kind of gets you that next step, uh, next level of modeling. Uh, his particular mouse is by a company called 3D Connection. Um, so it's a peripheral navigation device for SketchUp. That's right. Yes, vertical wood slats. Thanks for calling me out there, Peter. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I did was I just made a duplicate of this material right here, and then I applied that, reapplied that material to all the surfaces here. With that, by creating a new material, I can select it, and I can actually manipulate that color, right? So I can come in here and say, let's go a little bit Closer to like yellowy whitish. Um, that turned out kind of green, but there we go. So then by having these two colors separate, I can go in and change them afterwards. Like I said, I wanted to, I wanted to come up with kind of a mocha-y color vibe there. Um, so I'm gonna get the geometry in first and then we'll come back and kind of manipulate that. Um, I'm gonna take that now. Is this my slat? Make sure it's my component, yeah. Grab it, move it over. Let's try four inches. Maybe like 40x. See if that goes over. Everybody in the chat is saying that you should introduce some 3 sixteenths measurement somewhere in here. So maybe four and three, 13 sixteenths between each. What if we what slide. if we what if we called this coffee bar 13 sixteenths? Just rolls right off the tongue. Easy to search, you know. Oh, it actually would be good if that was at the corner of 13th Street and 16th Street. That's true. 13th and 16th. All right. So there we go. That takes the bars all the way across. Well, I'll we'll we'll cut them back in just a second. I'm not stressed about that just yet. It's a prison um, coffee bar. But yeah, I don't that color's rough. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna make the back. A little deeper. Oh, yeah. See, that's better already. Get some nice Classy. deep wood there. And then uh, let's grab this one. And less green and more more, more wood colors. Let's get a little more orange in there. Maybe go a little lighter. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I like that. Um, 
cool. I'm going to do a couple things here. Somebody mentioned the cleaning crew. Let's be nice to the cleaning crew and not have this at the bottom. This is so there's lots of things to consider when you start talking about design, right? Like how something looks absolutely very important, important portion of design, but how it functions and how you're going to actually use it's important too. And uh, something like this, where I can take this and maybe we'll bring this up like four inches off the ground um, to make that cleanable <laughs> as opposed to somebody having to go into each of that half inch nook to try to get the dust out of there. Probably he somebody just... somewhere is going to appreciate that, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I like that so far. Um, I'm debating. The only thing I'm looking at debating is I'm wondering, like, do I want to see something like? Uh, do I want to put trim around, or do I want to just leave it, kind of just dropping to the edge like that? Um, yeah, we'll play with that in a second. Uh, I got to cut some space out of here. So there's a couple ways I could do it. So a few of these, like these guys right here, if I wanted to let's do some learning opportunity type things, these ones right here, I could grab and say, make unique. And then I could grab one of them and just push, pull the end up to here. And then those ones are done. That's a, that's a, oops, one more. This one I missed. Oh no, so what would I do about that? Well, what I could do, fortunately, is I come over here to components and see here I have slat number one, here I have slat. So I could grab this one, which is currently slat, and say, right click, uh, replace selected, and it will replace that slat that I had with slat one, which puts it right up here. Um, the rest of this, there's a question now of, do I want to save these as components? Because as soon as I did this, I broke this instance from these instances over here. So it's a separate piece now, no matter what I do. Um, so I'm kind of wondering like how much is it worth keeping as components? I think once I've got my colors down, my colors are applied and controlled by the color wheel. So at this point, I don't think I'm really worried about it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these, minus this, minus this. Nope, is that selected? It's not. I grab all these bars, right click, make it into a new group, come into the group, and explode that. So now I have one group that is all those pieces. So now what I could do is I can come in with solid tools and cut this with a new solid. So I'm going to come here like this. this, pull that through like that, triple click, make group. And then what I could do is I should be able to now go tools, solid tools, subtract this from this. And there we go, or cut out. Um, Maybe. Yeah, definitely broad strokes there. You can see I didn't, I didn't do that perfect. I can come in here easy enough now and just, you know, quick clean up, drag those down to below there, grab these ones right here, move that, Ooh. one too many, Ooh, I guess I can move that back up. Down there. There we go. And you, my friend, can go right back up there. All right. So we're getting a look that's coming together. Kind of cool, but it's got, it's starting to get a little bit of a McDonald's-y feel to me. So <laughs> second guessing some things. Let's, uh, let me, let me throw a few more things in here before I, I go make changes. So I'm going to grab this color and put it over here and over here and here and here. I didn't really worry about the, the back right this second. We'll come back there in a sec. Uh, and then for the countertops, what do you guys think? Do I go, do I grab this? Oh. Do I go with that light color? Or do we go in on like a whole new color? 
Should we go like dark dark? Like black French roast? That's what we should have done. Mm. Should have named these colors coffee names. Yeah, bringing in the uh, coffee. Isn't there one of the um, one of the crayons in the Mac color picker is called espresso? Ooh, Maybe like you that. could do that Let's color. That. Um, mocha. Oh, mocha. Maybe. Oh, ew. Why would you name a color asparagus? Oh, mm -mm. It stinks, too. It's one of those kind of markers that <laughs> stinks. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's good for you, but. Yeah. That's about ew. it. That's mocha. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You got a kind of a vibe going. What do you think? What do we got? Uh, Keggy said new darker color, please. And his mm. his uh, his please does does go pretty far. It's that magic you were talking about earlier, the magic word. That's right. Um, I'm gonna undo this mocha. I'm sorry. It was a good idea. It was good, worth trying. But let's. Uh, so I'm gonna grab this color. I'm gonna apply it here, and then same thing I did before. I'm going to come into my colors in model colors, and I'm going to say uh, duplicate it again. There was my opportunity again to put a color name on it, and I didn't. Um, so I'm going to pick that and apply that to this. And then we're going to double click on it, go to the wheel, and let's just, just drop it a little bit darker. Ooh. I think that was the right choice. Nope. Ah, the mocha came back. That's a good, nice guys. A good call. Good call. All right. This is kind of looking cool. I, 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 I had doubts about what I was capable of, but, um, <laughs> I think this is looking good. I'm oh, don't this. doubt yourself, man. <laughs> I mean, you brought us this far. Oh, well, I can tell everybody's itching. They want to get another refill of their, can you guess what I'm drinking here? Uh, I would guess tea because I know you, but maybe coffee for special occasion. Mm, you're right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> tea. Most coffee places have tea, though. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll we'll put a box of tea out here somewhere. All right, this is looking kind of cool. Um, let's do this. Let's drop a couple lights in here. Oops. I should probably explain what I just did because that was a cool trick. So see how all these pieces are white? They are white because the uh, the cutter, the face of the cutter I made was white. So when you when you use solid tools to cut two pieces, one out of another, the, the new ends that are created get the color of the cutter. So since that face was white, all those got white. So I have a couple options I could do here. One is I could come in here, I could say, open it, grab this, um, and then I could one by one fill each of these. Or I could turn on, which one is it? Shift and click there, and then that'll find all the pieces that are white in this entire group and color it. Uh, what I did before is actually cheating. It's not, not the way I should do it. I grabbed that color and applied it to the outside of the container, which says, any faces inside this component or group that are the default color, the white color, use this instead. Um, so that wasn't the ideal way to do it because that could cause some problems downstream. So the ideal thing to do is probably to come in here, grab that, and then use shift click to just say fill all unfilled faces all at once. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Cool. Good call. Yeah. Hey, opportunities to teach just kind of just throw themselves in your face sometimes. <laughs> I like it. Um, okay, so let's let me just spend a couple minutes here on my pastry uh, thingy here. Um, trying to figure. I I honestly this is this is a spot where I'm like I'm not really sure what to do with this. We did have um, one suggestion related to this. And yeah. Take it or leave it. Earlier, uh, somebody said you could do the front, like underneath that, you know, like at a coffee shop you go to, they have like kind of 
food and drinks and stuff underneath mm-hmm. like kind of facing outwards to people who are waiting in line oh yeah you know? um so an option if that you want mess up or the just wood paint that top with a glass color and yeah <laughs> just call it good I like that we'll just go really phone this in by going uh grab glass um, yeah done thanks for watching have a good night <laughs> enjoy your weekend with the fish uh, tank here yeah. have people I, actually put fish in there it, that would not be the worst thing in the world this this actually so I, I, I let's work from this I like this um let's do a couple things here let's so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna come into context I'm, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to, I'm going to round over this right here. This will be a piece of bent plexiglass, right? So it looks something like that. I like that. That looks kind of cool. Um, I feel like I want to, I feel like I want this base to be like solid. I'll grab all of that. Maybe fill it with just like be a little too on the nose to use the exact same material, but maybe I'll just grab like a dark, dark brown or something like that and fill that in. Hundred percent opacity. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, that's that works for me. I like that. I like that. Um, there's always the question like anytime you have a window or anything like that, how do you present clear materials? Because Nothing in the world has zero depth, right? Even a piece of paper has a fraction of a millimeter thick. Glass is no, no exception. I mean, most people know glass has, you know, a decent thickness. Um, but a lot of times when we model it, especially like conceptual from just throwing a quick model together, we'll just put a single plane on, make it transparent, be done. But this material is going to have some depth to it. So how do we how do we account for that? So what I could do here is take this end right here and we'll come over like an eighth of an inch. That's fine. That'll work. Uh, and then I will grab this piece, this piece, and this piece. Offset that same eighth inch. Pull that across to here. That out another eighth inch. And there we go. Now we actually have a piece that has some depth to it. Um, yeah, I can do a little more cleanup here. I don't need some of these edges. All right, so that might have some shelves in there or something like that, but right now I'm just gonna, that's good for right this second. Um, this one kind of cool. I kind of like this. I wanna, I feel like, I don't know, it's, at some point Eric might grab this and render it. So um, I don't wanna actually, I wanna put some lights in the bar, like just, just some can lights right going across here, just kind of shining down. I don't wanna put actual components in there. I'm just gonna make, Kind of make the the thing that sits up there um let's do that let's just put like just one two three four five six six lights across here something like that and then if uh if eric decides to render this later on he can take those and actually put like v-ray lights up there that'd be kind of cool um so i'm gonna do this by out of context right the bar oh my bar is empty hold on i gotta i gotta fix that it's one of those things that will bother me no, it really shouldn't. Plenty of room for storage underneath. That's right. <laughs> you promise you got to crawl underneath in the, into a <laughs> crawl space to get up there. All right, let's go across like this. And just draw a line there. And then I'm going to come in here to divide it. And like I said, I want to get, I think, if 
five or six lights up there. So like that, if I look one, two, three, four, five, six, if, if I break it like that and I put a, a light into each of those segments, not where the points are, not that, not where the, the points are, but in those, the, I'm looking at the segments instead. Uh, I think that would be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there. And then if I put a circle, find the midpoint of that line, pull that out a couple inches. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick component. Um, let's, see, let's offset. I'm going to make my component. Um, I want to make this. Create it as a cutting component. And that's good. So for right now, let me leave right there. And then I'll just go ahead and place these right now. So I'm gonna say here, option, bring that over till I hit the midpoint of the next line segment. Boom. And I should be able to say 4x, 5x. <laughs> <laughs> One plus what equals six. Okay, but now. What I can do is I can actually take that. Let's go ahead and uh, hide everything else. And what I'll do is take this, bring that, uh, let me bring that up ever so slightly like that. Uh, let's reverse both these faces. And then uh, let's just Throw like a dark gray on this outside ring and then bright white on the inside. Something like that. Uh, oh, it didn't cut because I'm out of context. So I made it a cutting component and then I put it on the outside of geometry so it didn't do anything. That's that's good, good, good job. Like you said, it's a teaching moment. That's right. So that's what not to do. So if you ever create a cutting component, can't figure out why it won't cut, maybe it's because of that. So if I take that, if I say, uh, well, you know, I'm going to do one more thing. So if I cut this right now, and then let's get rid of this. If I was to cut all these line lights, then go into context and paste it back in, uh, I could absolutely do that. But I would be trying, working to figure out where they're supposed to go. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to, before I cut them, I'm going to draw another line here, just the end, the length of that edge. I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to take that line plus those, Command X, come into context, edit, I guess paste in place still puts it where it's supposed to be. And there we go. And see how they cut in that time? That's just because uh, now these, these components are inside this component. But because this is a face, that cut component can go ahead and cut the hole out. So yeah, cutting components are great, but there's a couple things they do do. They do do. They they only cut a single face. That's why you can't make a window component and have it cut through all the components inside your framed wall. Uh, they also only cut a face, so they have to be in the same context as that face. So yeah, that's that's what that is. And it's looking mm -hmm. pretty cool. I like it. I like I like where this is going. Um, all right, um, save, command S. Smart. Yep, I try, I try. All right, I'm gonna grab this color, throw it back here, and then let's just throw some, uh, just some cabinetry in here real quick. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna go into context, I'm gonna offset this whole thing, like, say, I don't know, just roughly maybe one and 13 sixteenths of an inch I'll offset that. <laughs> How about two inches? Um, and then we'll take this bottom piece and bring it up another several inches. All right. And then I could take all of that. What is how what's this depth here? What do we got? We got one. Okay. So 
push this in like one foot ten inches. And I've got oppor opportunities for some storage back there. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Over two inches. Back down. Yes. I'm just gonna do a couple divisions here. I, you know, it's funny. People have asked, like, do a whole live stream just on cabinets, and that's totally doable. But it's just not. It's just. Not the most exciting thing in the world. There's t t that seems to be one of those comp or, uh, repetitive things, you know, where you end up doing the same thing again and again and again and again. So, uh, yeah. That's what people are here for. They want to see. They want to see real. They want to see you suffer. Really, is the that's really what I've always gathered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna. I just copied that six times. Now you can just put some divisions in here. Gives you the idea where we're going for this storage thing. Oh, maybe we'll have a uh, professional storage design charrette. We'll come in here and really optimize the, the coffee cup storage opportunities. But uh, right now, I feel pretty good with where that's at. Yeah. How high up is that? Like, do you need a step ladder to get up there? Yeah, maybe this is longer term storage. Yeah, it's eight feet off the ground. You could stand on the counter. I could get it. I don't know about the rest of you short people, but I can reach that. <laughs> I always used to joke about how when I uh, when I first started working in a software company, I would go to trade shows primarily because I was over six feet and I could put up the top of the uh, trade show booth without a ladder. So they could send me and not have to pack a step stool. <laughs> Add value where you can at your job, folks. Mm -hmm. um, See, I did the same thing, except people just stood on my back. <laughs> I, was, I was on all fours, and people just used me as a step stool. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes, man. I mean, just yeah. <laughs> show your show your worth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> So I like this. It's going. It's going in a good direction. But I, I want. I want to bring in some stuff from 3D Warehouse. I do want to get a cash register, um, maybe some pastries or something like that. Uh, but I want to work. But the biggest thing I want to do is I want to take this face right here, and I want to just go a little bit further with it. I think it looks cool. I think it's like you'd walk into that and, ooh, hey, let's do this. Let's just. Let's just do a. Half, we're halfway through. It's one o'clock. I'm going to save that. Excuse me. And I'm going to hop back into coffee shop. And one of the things we can do when we look at our components here, right? We'll see. Where is it? Where is my what? Component number one, component number 10. Eric. 13, 16. And now this. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So what one of the things we could do is we can re-import uh, that component, right? Um, so let's. Where is this on desktop? So I can reload. Um, let me see. Counter coffee bar open. Boom. And then, oh, check that out. Mmm, coffee. All right, let's <laughs> let me unhide the roof, and we'll take a, take a little peekaloo in the front door. Oh yeah. All right, that's coming up. That's coming along. Yeah, it's um, cozy. <clears throat> good place for some Java. I right? like it. So here's the thing that's hitting me right now, though. Uh, it's backwards. Ew. See that? See how you come in either of these doors and you walk up to the pickup side. Mm, we either got to fl flip the building or we got to flip the bar. 
I guess either one works, right? I'm just, so here's what I'm doing in my head. I'm going through all the coffee places I can think of. And maybe this is a left to right thing. I don't know. I'm just thinking like, I feel like I always pick up on the left side. Is that, is that just, am I, is that something I'm making up? Tell me chat, tell me what to do. Can't make decisions on my own. You always pick up on the left. Um, I don't know. I don't know. If that's always true. I, I could totally be wrong. You're just thinking of the coffee shop that you go to. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about like, every okay. coffee shop that I've been to. The last so time. <laughs> I got one Starbucks over here. I'm thinking that you pick up on the left. Another one up north. You pick up on the left. So I don't know. I'm I'm uh. Yeah, see, Keggy's saying you pick up on, he picks up on left too. So you Order would go on in, left, pay on right. But like, so oh boy, we're if, split. Where do people queue, you know? Because I feel like if you, if you kind of, if it like wraps around to the right side of the building, how long yeah. of a line are you expecting? Like, is this a very popular place? That's new. So it's going to be a big deal for at least a couple months. Yeah. So what we could do, we could take, we have two options, right? We could flip the building because we're in design. We could, we can do that. Or <laughs> we can flip the component. Cause I could take this right now and I could say, just flip it along the red. And there we go. Now we walk in, mm, nummy pastries, order my food right here, pay, pick up, and then turn around, sit down at a table right here. So that works. I mean, that, that can happen. Yeah. Yeah, I get this. This is a uh, Randy's asking if there's a standard. Absolutely. No, I have no idea. I've never read <laughs> anything that says you're supposed to do it. I was just thinking in my head, like all the places I go. Oh, no, wait, I guess there's one spot that where you pick up on the right. So yeah, yeah, we'll just let's go with this. Okay. That yeah, um, is pretty split too, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, knowing that, I'm going to hop back into my counter bar here. I flipped that component in the other job, just temporarily check it out. In here, I'm going to go to the actual, the main thing here. I'm assuming this is symmetrical. Hold on. Let's see. We should probably check that. One foot six, 10 foot six, one foot six. 10 foot six. Okay. Yeah, these line up. Yeah. Okay. So it does look like it's all symmetrical. So I can grab this now and I can flip it along the red axis and save it. Okay. That's cool. We did have one point and look, take it or leave it. You can mm -hmm. do whatever you want. But somebody said that you shouldn't be queuing on the side that the door is. Meaning, I guess what dubs 31 says here. You're not going to queue in front of an ingress slash egress. Yeah. I Meaning this way you would line up on the left, which is kind of sort of in front of the door. Totally see what you're saying. My, my, yeah. I guess my thought yeah. was trying to preserve seating, but that makes a lot of sense. Right. So you come in, queue up over against this wall. Yeah. And the fact that he used egress, make, or they used egress, is really making me think that's probably true. Yeah, yeah. Any kind of nomenclature is like, I know that carries a lot of weight. I don't argue with that. That's, yeah. That's it. All right. So we'll, we'll go back to Man Z, that thing. Back on the right. Actually, we have another comment here that says maybe you should do it the other way. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> But this thing, there's not another comment, but there is. Uh, I, I can just go back and forth. You could show different ways to flip things. That's true. Sometimes so, oh, I was just thinking, scale negative one. <laughs> sooner or later, we're going to start importing some stuff that is going to, you know, like as soon as we bring in our, our cash register, that's probably going to have numbers and stuff on it. So flipping it will start to be weird. If we bring any packaging of food in, we'll have to figure it out for them. But right now, this is cool. We'll leave it the way it is. This is going to work for right now. Uh, yes. Ahmad did it. He 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 called it. Um, I want, like I said, I want to take these. This look is good. 
I want to take a little bit further with this wood and I want to put in like a logo. I want to put something in as I'm looking at this, I got this idea for, for a specific thing. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking circles. Nature's most round shape. That's right. <laughs> Bet you guys didn't know you learned so much in this, did you? Uh, All right. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is cutting some reliefs into the bars that are circular, putting smaller circles inside of there, and then maybe calling this like the coffee spot, something like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. They did that. Coffee spot. All right. Hey, Matt, Matt said, ah, so I think, I think that's all we need. We, we got sign off. All right. So I'm going to, uh, put this into a group. Um, take that and like copy it around a couple of times. And I do want to kind of get these all slightly different sizes. And still, just these are just the cutters. These are the ones that are going to go in and cut the wood. Um, something like this. We're we're playing now. We're we're in design fun place. I don't want to make it look too much like I'm trying to make a carbonated drink can, but I kind of like that idea of. Is there carbonated coffee? I would imagine. Can you think of any? Why not? I think there is. Isn't there like a Coke coffee flavored? There coffee is. Flavored yeah. Yeah. I have never been old enough to consume that, but I have seen it. Never been old enough? What do you mean? Bold, bold, bold. Enough. Oh, bold. I was like, what? There's a little age limit? Yeah, I'm underage. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be in your fifth decade of life to consume that stuff. Something like that. Probably need one or two down here too. I like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Various things. That 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 look working for you. All right. So what I want to do then is I'm trying to think of the smart way to do what I want to do next because I can think of a lot of dumb ways to do this, but. I'm going to take this piece mm -hmm. and I'm going to, let's see here, let me just go let me save. All right. So here's a, Ooh, Ooh. Hey, speaking of smarts, let me grab that material first and then apply it. So it takes the material that's on the outside of the container. The cutter is what's going to sh going to show after I cut this. So now that I have that, now I should be able to go here, uh, go to tools. And I'm not going to use subtract because subtract will actually cut the circle out and throw it away. I'm going to use trim because I want to reuse it later. Oop, this is no longer a solid. Let's figure that out. Let's figure out why this is not a solid. Oh, because I put this piece on there. Did not mean to put that in there. Now solid again. Okay, so I'm going to grab this piece, tools, solid tools, trim, trim that from this. And now I'm going to take this piece. Uh, let's do this. Let's go scale it back so it's flush. And then 
scale it. Oops. Give me, give me a middle guy. There we go. Scale it around. Nope, here's what we'll do. Because I want these all to be the same. I'm just going to offset this one inch. And then go back like that. There we go. So we'll have that relief kind of in those pieces. So a little bit of repetitive stuff, but really it should be pretty quick. If I go into... Uh, the you... chat goes wild for repetitive stuff. Oh, I know. This is where, this is where you guys have fun. All right, I'm going to turn my solid tools on so I can use is this trim. That's subtract. Trim. There's trim. Subtract that from here. Take this. Subtract that from here. We did have one comment. Don't let this derail you, but oh, saying please. these circles should be coffee bean shaped. We could, and then we'd have to call it the coffee bean. And I think that I'm pretty sure that one's been taken. I don't know if the coffee spot's a thing or not, but. Yeah, there you go. That's thinking with your lawyer hat on. Want <laughs> any cease and desists? That's right. Oh, to shut down our live stream because uh, Coffee Bean came after us. <laughs> All right. So then I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna turn my. There we go. This should, this should go. This should go pretty. Pretty quick, I think. So if I go here, offset, double click, push that back to nothing. Next one, double click, push, pull that back to here, offset. I like it. Do these have um, <clears throat> signs on them too? Like, you know, order here, pick up here, something Ooh, like that? I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. People in the chat talking about the drive through window. They're concerned about where the drive through window is going to be in your design. We're uh, it's like down home, like like uh, Main Street America. It's not no drive throughs here. You got to get up and you got to talk to people. Yeah, we don't. Who, nobody talks to people anymore That's these right. days. You know, this generation doesn't talk to people. That's right chat <laughs> i i did that totally different what how far did i offset this it was really carbonated now one inch I, hold on i gotta undo a bunch of things i don't know what i offset that but it should be one somehow i was offsetting way more than one and i did not like the way it looked okay that's better that's the same okay um you know, I, I, but in all seriousness, I do feel like, whoop, that was why I did it. Um, I do think that, uh, yeah, you know, we should all spend a little more time talking to people face to face and less time. Plus, I mean, you know, getting out of your car for a few seconds and I don't, I'm projecting something. I'm not really sure what it is, but. Sure. <clears throat> we'll have an extra big parking lot. How's that? There you go. Um, is this going to be one of those coffee shops where you have to, like, there's no Wi-Fi and you have to, you can't have your computer out? Maybe it'll be like a show, you know, sometimes you go to a show and they make you put your phone in a little bag and then they like, <laughs> it'll be like that. <laughs> I feel like we'd have to come up with a whole new name and concept if that were it. It was the, you know, like unplugged espresso or something. Ooh, yeah. Seems like the kind of gimmick that could get you on the news and get people coming in, though. Yes. So we're all about the um, the novelty aspect. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, earlier somebody said, when we were talking about, oh, it's going to be busy when it first opens because it's new. They said, yeah, until they try the coffee and then nobody's going to come anymore. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I can... I can design a look. I'm not. I'm not going to stand behind whatever happens, you know, as far as the actual product. <laughs> All right, that's looking kind of cool. I kind of like that. Um, 
yeah, I like the idea of doing, do we do cutouts? Do we do, uh, I guess I need one more right here that says order here, huh? And we have pickup. <clears throat> Oops, I lost my back face. Um, okay, so Randy has been saying this should be named the three, 13 16th Unplugged Blues Z Fighting No Phones Coffee Bean Shop. That rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Find us online. <laughs> <laughs> Like those restaurants, you ever have those restaurants that just has everybody knows it by a different name than what it actually is? It sounds like that's an opportunity for that. Mm. All right, so if we have an order here, pick up here. I feel like I want the name up here kind of big too, though. Maybe do another big spot right here. Yeah. All right, let's 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 get the yeah. I'm gonna do one more. This is like, um, you know, some gangster who's finally got called in to do his one last job. I'm going to do one more. This is my last one. I'm not doing any more after this. That's right. <clears throat> it's like, I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. Mm -hmm. Think of one more thing. Well, we got the menu somewhere. How are people going to know what they can? Logo. Oh, no, this is the name of the shop, isn't it? Yeah, which I could spin into a logo if, if, if we do this right. So if Eric accepts our logo design. Here, I got, I got a vision. I'm working on vision right now. All right. Uh, same thing. I'm going to come in here. Turn back this. This and then we're, we're gonna have to pick a font after this, and that's we'll have a whole stream for that. Yeah, because I'm gonna I mean, obviously I'm gonna go immediately to Comic Sans, but um, I know nobody else is gonna back me up on that, so we're gonna need a we're gonna need a font. Is what we want to put. Here's what I want. Oh, I'm thinking the spot. Just for right now. Let that sink in. See how it works. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my tools. Okay. Um, 3D text. And I'm gonna put a period after it because I'm hip. And I just like to. Ah. If you're but, really hip, it should be all lowercase. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Spot. Oh, spot with a period afterwards? Oh, come on now. This is, yeah, I'm going here. I'm not cool enough to go to a place like this. I'm lying. All right, but we need, <laughs> we need, uh, ooh, sticks to math. What? I don't, I can't use that because it's got math in the title. So that one's out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm picturing like, oh, that might be it. Mm. What do you think? We think of Rockwell. Old? No, probably regular. Understated is very important, you know. Yes, our coffee's not going to beat you over the head. That's right. It's going to, you know, build a sense of character and confidence with you over time. It's, uh, you know, it's. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sure. All right. Um, a lot of great, um, great uh, suggestions for names in the. Uh, in the chat, but I think I think we're stuck on this one. Not stuck on this one. I think we're, you know, we're. I don't know what to say. That's no. I I think you're right. I think this is this is getting 
stuck in. <laughs> that wasn't it either. Nope, nope, nope. All right. The real quick. Nope. Stop correcting me. Sometimes, sometimes I got bad grammar on purpose. <laughs> is that glued? It is. If you guys ever get this, here's another another teaching opportunity. I just want to slide this back so it's against the dark part, not the slats, but it's not letting me. And if I do constrain to green axis. That's how constraint is making it like go in these weird bouncy around thing. Usually that's an indication to me that glue to is turned on. So if I right click, I can click on unglue. And then I should be able to slide that back to the, yeah, to the dark wood. There we go. Where I want it to be. All right, let's... Nice. Uh, Peter saying you could call it the pot of coffee. Yes, so maybe pot. only we only sell pots of coffee. Ooh, that would be that's almost a hook right there for a coffee place. So now here's my here's my next question. Kind of like that. Do I do this or do I take that text and shrink it down so it fits inside the circle and cut it out? Please discuss. I'll let you know my personal feelings. Yes, is, please. Because uh, it's the name of the place, it should be big and like. Kind of like there. That. I feel like if it's small, you could do that for like the order here thing, you know, mm -hmm. but um, I personally think that makes it stand out if it's like, oh, yeah, I think that I, I have to agree with you. Yeah. Chat agrees. You have great taste, chat. I, you guys, man. Glad you're here. <laughs> oh, boy. And then we have one comment here. <clears throat> I'll read this word for word. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he cleared his voice. He cleared his throat and said, "I need to read this word for words. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good." One. Okay, prepare yourself. <clears throat> Paul's random projects on YouTube says it looks a bit like a concession coffee shop in a large department store last fitted out in the 1980s. So we nailed retro. Boom, done. <laughs> he did cap it off with a smiley face too, so he's being very nice about it. Um, <clears throat> You know, it's funny because like <clears throat> these colors, <clears throat> excuse me, hold on. Oh, got to get some. <clears throat> these colors are not colors that I long for, but I do. I mean, it's, it looks like coffee, right? It like, like those, those warm colors. I, I, I get it. Why you would do that. That's why it's, I mean, Starbucks very intentionally uses those kinds of colors. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I think the needs to be bigger. Just a touch. The, 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 make the, the bigger. It's cleaner. There you go. Okay. I like that. That looks pretty cool. The spot. All right. So order here, pick up here. Well, I probably will use the same. Uh, yeah, I'm, my, my back of bar is suffering a little bit each moment that goes by with this. But this is fun. This is this is uh, this is stuff I like. This is we got time, and we got we can spend as many as much time as we want on this, right? So maybe I'll do back of bar off camera or something like that. But uh, don't you worry, don't you worry at all. Yeah, or um, save it for another week. Somebody also yeah. did mention earlier an espresso machine, and I know maybe that's in the that in the plan for the future too. So I like where your head's at, chat. Um, we're aligning, we're jiving. Um, yeah, we got. I mean, we got so many ideas coming in. This is this is like committee design in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hold on. I forgot what I was doing. I need to pause for a second. 3D text. You're doing the reverse out. Yeah. 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 I like the idea of the circles being, uh, mugs of coffee, like overhead view mugs of coffee. We do that for, you know, your social media online logo or something. Or at first I was thinking letterhead and I'm like, you don't really need a letterhead for a coffee shop. Do you? <laughs> Oof. 
that's felt dated. I'm like, how old am I? <laughs> I bet I'm in this 80s, uh, you know, idea over here. Maybe just, I mean, just order. my personal, uh, yeah, just order. It's yeah. my, my committee. Uh, I appreciate that. That's exactly <laughs> as I was looking at it. I was like, ah, this is too much. Order. You ever look at a word and just go, that doesn't look like it's right? <laughs> All the time. <sighs> Killing me because I'm like, that, that, mm, that's not right. That's not how that word works. But it, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's. And then you you do need a gavel though to go with this. A gavel. Order. Order, <laughs> I say. I caught up. I was thinking too much. I was like, oh, I got all these ideas. I gotta stay on top of. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you're. I'm just here to muck about. You can. You have to keep stuff in your head. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, I I like it. All right, so here's the thing I just did. Uh, so when you create a 3D text, it will come up and it will ask you what size do you want. I didn't know what size I wanted. I just put it in there and then I moved it around until I figured it out. Um, that's great. That's, I mean, order right here is the size I need it to be and that's perfect. If I want the text of pickup to be the same size as order, I'm kind of stuck a, a little bit, right? Because I don't know if I come here, I. I don't even know what dimension decides what the text is, whatever. So how do I do that? So here's, here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm so, so glad I asked. I'm going to take this text and put it on, make sure it's on the same plane as this other text. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to scale it and I'm going to push it this way, but not just, not just drop it, but I'm going to tap shift the shift uniformly scales around one axis. So if I come back and snap to the top of this other text, then I'm assured not only it's the same depth this way, but the font size is the same. And I can, of course, verify that by taking two letters that are pretty close to the same, like this P and this O, and see, yeah, that, that lines up. And now I can take that and drop it at the pickup spot. The pickup spot. Order spot, pickup spot. No, it's too much words. It's but it's come along. Yeah, the spot pickup order. I like I I mean, somebody mentioned merchandise. I can see a striped t shirt with this logo on it. Would be kind of cool. Yeah. It'd be unique. Alright. I like I like where this is going. I'm gonna I'm I might have to go pitch this to someone. You know? Order place called the spot and it Shark Tank? Guarantee, like, a couple hundred people from across the world would go there if they were ever near it because they saw it get designed. Oh, 100%. I thought you were going to say a couple hundred people already have a coffee shop named The Spot. Oh, that's definitely possible, too. Maybe not, though. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> All right. A um, couple things I want to do. I want to put a shelf in here. near the middle. Um, Some people earlier were talking about the glass and how it should be like safety glass and like a certain thickness and, uh, you know, tempered for if people are leaning on it and stuff like that. Um, so that's a consideration that could be part of a design. Absolutely. I was assuming this would be like plexiglass and clear and the stuff that I've seen. And it probably is thicker than an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch. Uh, try and get inside of this piece. Yeah. Yeah. That's, there's probably more to go on with designing that piece than, uh, I, and, and honestly, this is just kind of a, I guess we'd call it a mock-up. Um, anyhow, I got less than half an hour left, so I do want to put a couple more pieces on here. I want to, uh, somebody mentioned, we're going to do a couple more designs, design sessions here before we have a finished thing. We got to do some landscaping. We're we'll probably going to do a patio out front. 
uh, in three weeks time, I want to come back and I want to model like a, a showpiece espresso machine, you know, like something that's super cool. Uh, and I want to make a space for that real quick that kind of matches what we got here. Because like I said, it's going to be, you know, not just just a thing. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a, like a, a thing that people would drive from miles around, like literally miles. Maybe well, that's what the spot it. is known for. That's right. So I could see why this thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do this. Make that a group, and then same thing we did before. I'll throw a countertop on here. Out one on each side. Oops. And then I want to break this so I can pull the lip down. So I'm just going to draw another rectangle from here to here, even though I can't see where it is. But that gets that breaks this off, so I can just pull that down another inch. There we go. Grab all that. You had some people earlier for the front counter and now for this back counter saying, you know, for a modern look, you could kind of bring that all the way down. Uh, what Keggy calls a waterfall edge. I've never heard that term mm -hmm. before, but uh, I believe that. Well, yeah, but now I got my slats. I don't want to mess with that. I, speaking of which, I want to. I think I mean like, they mean like on the side, I think, but. Oh, um, I got you. But hey, you do hey, you. You do I, you. I'm not opposed to that. But we, we, we could talk about that. We could talk about that for sure. I'm gonna copy this group. Oh, I didn't realize these were separate. These are in a separate group. Oh, All right, come back to that. Who modeled this? Come on, dude. All right, and then control V that. And let's grab it by this back corner. Put it on the ground, and then I'm gonna move it up. Six inches. So I did. Did I do six inch gap here? Vertical, four inches. Back down two. Oh yeah. No wait, I don't want that. I want this to go up here. There we go. And then I'll draw a line up here, or and I'll grab all my bottom pieces like that, and I will drop those vertically. Nathan on Facebook said that the milk fridge should go under the espresso machine, but um, I'm not I mean, opposed to that. I'm just uh, like to show off this this piece I'm working on. Maybe we'll have access to something. The fridge will be on the side like that. That could be cool. Ooh. That makes sense. That's that's not that is that is a good idea. Yeah, I like that. See, look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See that? And then we're going to have this big fancy. Yup, yup, mm -hmm. yup. Ties the room together. That really ties the room together. So I'm going to grab this, 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 CV, and then I can grab that by that handle I just created, drop it right here. So my spots go in, and I can take that. I'd leave the wrong thing. All right, we're good. Oh, because it wasn't grouped. We should probably group that all. Yeah, I like that idea, though. I like that. Uh, let's take this. And let's, on both sides. How long did I make this? What is this? Six. So let's go in. here uh yeah nathan same guy who said um the thing about the milk underneath said he's an ex-barista and that needs to be directly accessible so is that accessible that enough yeah hey that's you need it's on the near. back side. Yeah, I think it's right there. Thanks, Nate. Thanks for catching me. 
Um, hey, I, mm, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen when I started this, which should surprise <laughs> no one. <laughs> what? Yeah, I had no idea what, is, what was going to happen here, but I'm liking the way this is going. This is actually looking very cool. Um, a couple things I want to put in here. I do want to put some flooring in. Um, and then I want to get like maybe a cash register and like, I don't know, some something, something else to just some, some entourage to throw in here and really weigh down the model for Eric. That's what I'm really, really need to do. Yes. Throw it three miles from the origin. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, No, I want like tile. No, I don't want tile. Do I? As you work on that, we had a question about uh, the device that's in your left hand. Uh, that's a 3D mouse, so it's for navigation and SketchUp. It's not necessary for using SketchUp, but just helps with navigating in 3D um, versus using like a you know your scroll wheel on your on your mouse. Um, so this is by the brand called 3D Connection. Uh, it's called a Space Mouse Enterprise which also has like little buttons on. They also make a version that's just kind of a little puck uh, thing. But um, yeah, helps you get to that next level of modeling because you can kind of navigate and, uh, you know, interact with your mouse and uh, stuff at the same time. So, um, and it's nice for presentation, a little bit smoother than, uh, than, you know, zooming in and orbiting around with your mouse. Absolutely. All right. I'm liking this. I don't know if I love this floor, but it's something. Eric can uh, can swap the floor out once he gets back there. But uh, I figure if you're going to potentially spill coffee-colored stuff, then a nice dark floor is probably the thing to cover it up. That's probably not the right attitude to have either. Maybe easier to see and easier to clean up is better. But um, yeah, I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to 3D Warehouse, and I'm going to look for a quick cash register. Make sure you get one that uh, <clears throat> has a couple questions for you to answer on there. You know, you spin it around and it has people. Oh, yeah. We want to look for an iPad based one, right? Like this. I know. This is the retro version that doesn't ask you for a you know, 40% <laughs> guess... tip on every cup of coffee or whatever. Yeah. Do we do we go full retro and like look for something made of brass or do we just be honest and like <laughs> put the. Uh, the loudest iPad. looking one you can find. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see what we got for an iPad cash register. Nope, that's not gonna work. That's not, that didn't do it. All right. I kind of like this, like this one right here. It's a little thingy. It looks good. It looks, it looks well modeled. Let's see how heavy this thing is. It's got 6,000 polygons, which is a little, little weighty maybe. Um, but, I kind of like it. it's all touch screeny. I might probably probably get rid of the scanner. We'd probably don't need. Well, I don't know. I'm just gonna bring it. Yeah. Yep. 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 It's coming together. It's coming together. Beautiful. Um, so we can find some delicious pastries of some sort. Ooh, yeah, we we got options. Ooh, look, oh, I like well. what's going on here. Um, more desserts. <laughs> yeah. Early. Macaroni. Getting a little tired. My 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 desire for sugar is spiking right now. Look at this thing. This this looks like we got our choices here. That's a full spread. So here's the thing. Full spread. That <clears throat> <laughs> not not for the gluten intolerant here. No sir. All right. So I'm gonna do a thing you shouldn't do. That actually that I'm doing the wrong thing. When you go just searching for stuff on 3D Warehouse, I would highly, highly, highly recommend against grabbing things and directly importing it, especially big things like this. Models like this are great because you can go grab pieces of it and bring it into another model. So actually, I like this for my pastry uh, case. 
I want what's here and I want to grab certain pieces of it and bring it over and put it in. But what I don't want to do is grab this and dump it directly into my working model. What happens when you do that is, I mean, it's, it's possible if you have a, a model that has like a lot of big heavy materials, it's already pushing what SketchUp can do and you go download another huge model and drop it right inside. Uh, people with, you know, modest uh, computing capabilities, their computers aren't cutting edge, have had problems where their model like stops responding when that happens. So the ideal thing to do is when you're doing 3D warehouse like this, download the model, open it up separately, and then clean up, grab what you want, and bring just what you need back in. Um, the 3D Warehouse, anybody's not familiar, 3D Warehouse has millions of models. Like that's not, not an exaggeration. There's what, four? What Do you remember the last count is, Matt? Over four million? Something like that? I think it was higher than that, but uh, yeah, many, many models. Lots. Yeah. Um, and what can, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna go file, I'm just going to make do an example of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to brand new model. And in here, I will go grab that, download that into this empty model. So if I ever have, have any problems, it, because it is user created, it's the models can have like big materials on them, or it can have a ton of geometry that you're not thinking about. And when you get it downloaded, it can it can cause problems. So, um, am I doing that right now? Am I am I actually proving my point? <laughs> <laughs> you picked the right model. Uh, apparently, wow! Look at that. Sometimes we talked about this. I was talking with Tyson about this about how like sometimes you're trying to prove like like let me show you a problem model and then we'll talk about how to fix it when we make our videos. And sometimes it's like, I, I know this is a problem. I can't make the problem happen. And then other times you're like, oh, this should be the perfect fix. And then life happens and, and the opposite. It just doesn't work. Um, yeah, I just did. I did what I, I did what I was saying. Okay. Um, <laughs> when was the last time I saved that last one? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. It's got to kick in soon. Here we go. Um. <laughs> Let's see. We had some people talking about uh, Peter mentioned on YouTube about I think my description was a little overzealous mm. um, about how much uh, was going to get covered. I didn't talk to Aaron before writing the description about everything that was going to be modeled during this. So um, obviously it's kind of a free form modeling session uh, whenever Aaron's at the helm. So you get what you get. But uh, That's right. look at this. You definitely get pastries. And you don't get any bug splats or anything. Um, yeah. So this is this 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 model has a lot of uh, pasty yummy treats. Looking... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah. So what I might do in this case, so this is one big old component. So I'd probably come in and maybe grab a couple pieces I want. I'll grab this guy. Right here. I'll select this this cookies one two three four five oh croissants we'll get croissants too right, i'm gonna copy that Over here it sounds like you ordering at a normal bakery uh let me get a dozen croissants let me get a dozen uh donuts let me get uh 15 loaves of bread sounds right yep yep and then I'm going to come into these right here. I'm in, I'm in my throwaway model right now. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to explode these. And then I'm going to grab just the stuff I want. So maybe I'll grab like five of these and bring them over here. I'll grab a stack of these. I'll put that right next to it. And then how about some croissants? Same thing. Like that. And then separate from that, we'll go ahead and grab this. Maybe I don't know exactly how big my cabinet is, but uh, this and then this. So now what I'm doing is I'm creating, now I have just this much stuff. 
and I can take that, control C that, and then hop over here, control V, and I can place just these pieces into my cabinet. So go ahead and go like that, and so you could have could have grabbed it a little more even. Maybe I'll do a copy and paste to get some more stuff up there. But real quick, real easy. Uh, you can see how that happens. And that's, again, because I am, uh, I don't have that whole thing brought in beforehand. I don't have to worry about a bunch of extra geometry or a bunch of extra stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, showing up in my, my component list because it's just the pieces I needed. Um, yeah, I apologize. I did not get to sync. I did not get a whole bunch of back of bar. Um, <laughs> maybe not everything that makes everything run, but uh, you know, some stuff, some stuff that makes it run. Um, an opportunity for more stuff to go in. We have, uh, we could do a whole entourage session here. Get more things in there. Oh yeah, I like it. Big plans. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, definitely some stuff I want to do. I I want to uh, like I said, I wanted I want to model a big centerpiece uh, espresso machine. Think brass, tube, steam, all kinds of unnecessary things happening. That's what I really want. Um, so that'll be that'll be in a couple weeks. We'll come in and we'll put that centerpiece place right there. The other thing I would really like to do is put a you know a menu up above. So up above the, the espresso machine, we'll have what you can get at this this here place. But uh, yeah, like that. That looks pretty cool. You're right. Let's hold up. I gotta do. I gotta do a thing real quick. Um, this falls a coffee cup. What is that like? Um. Five and thirteen sixteenths. <laughs> oh, Eric's sitting somewhere just going, why am I burning so much? Right, I'm going to do something like this. Eric in the chat, if you missed earlier, your ceiling height is like 10 feet and 13 sixteenths of an inch or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we use the term wackadoo to define your uh, ceiling height. But no, everything else was great. Look at that. It's pretty. Uh, Eric says he was out getting coffee, so that's why you missed the beginning part of the stream. Fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, you know what I want to do? No, you don't. You have no idea. Let me tell you. All right, so I'm gonna I'm going to align my view straight at that. And shift four. <clears throat> Some people want you to um, write Eric's name on the coffee cup. Um, oh, look at this. It looks like one of those little uh, insulators so you don't, don't uh, yeah, mess your fingers up kind of thing, right? Yeah. there and then here's the real question do i have no 
Um, I want to bend that. Uh, but instead... Well, you did 3D Warehouse. Might as well do Extension Warehouse, too, during the stream. I feel like that's really tempting fate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Uh, project that instead. You're projecting. I am. Um, so I explode that. And I can texture. Projected. Kind of cool on the sides there, but that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's do this instead. That looks cool. It does, but it looks like I'm calling something cool that I screwed up and should have done better. You know, you know that look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Know that? laughs> I've seen I've seen you wear that look before. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Watch this, watch watch this now. Watch closely. That's right, I'm gonna create a quick cutting plane above and below where the image is. There we go. Let's copy that, let's go. We don't need all this extra nonsense right here. There we go, and I'll take this intersect face with model, this, and this, and all this. This is not, this is not intended. So, uh, you know, this is just bonus might work. Close, close. I'm impressed. I'm here for the bonus, the bonus features. That works. It's good enough for, for what we got. Cause we got uh, boom. Nice. I'm going to call it there. We're at uh, 153. That's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to hop back over to Eric's model. Oh, that's the one I was just in. We go to Eric's model and I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select this. Let's go ahead and reload it. It's supposed to be a drum roll. But... Boom. <laughs> oh, nice stuff. A little Z fighting on the floor, but uh, and that, that's, looking, that's looking pretty snazzy. I like it. I like it. I would drink coffee there. Just saying. Absolutely. All right. Uh, let's call it. Um, Matt already did mention, yeah, 3D Basecamp, if you haven't already, uh, do check out our 3D Basecamp site. It is the best place to come and learn SketchUp, talk about SketchUp, find out what's new in SketchUp, or maybe even present. We're going to be opening uh, for uh, presentations. We're going to be accepting, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Abstracts? I can never remember the term to use. I think they use abstracts, is like, which seems... Wow. It doesn't seem like a good word to use, right? Like we want definite, but I think they call it an abstract when you submit to present at a, an event. Uh, but we're going to be open for presentations, opening for speakers in the not too distant future. So if you're interested in that, hang on. But right now is an amazing time to go grab a ticket because it is significantly uh, cheaper right now than it's going to be later on in February. So if you're thinking of coming, now's the time to buy a ticket. We'd love to see you there in November. Come hang out with us. See me, Matt, Tyson, Eric, Donovan, Charles, all of us will be there, be hanging out uh, along with the rest of the SketchUp crew. So uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. And and while you're there, not just meeting us, but the, the important part is the SketchUp stuff too. Yeah, that'd be it. Um, yeah, anything else? What else am I missing? I co-sign that. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're missing anything. Covered right. it all and uh, yeah, made our, made our spot. I like made it. Made our spot, yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, hey, thank you all for hanging out with us. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, yeah, come back next week. So I'm not 100% sure. I think Eric will be on. And uh, I'm guessing we're going to be doing some landscaping outside of this 
little coffee shop, but uh, we'll see. Come hang out with us and we will, uh, we'll see you guys in. Yes. Have a great weekend. Thanks guys.